Today, we're asking the question, do you need WordPress with your podcast hosting account here at Castos? Well, the answer is no. You don't need to use WordPress in order to host with Castos. We're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages and really get you into the mindset of deciding whether or not you need to use WordPress or want to use WordPress with your Castos hosting account. If this is your first time using WordPress, the challenges aren't even using our plugin yet. It's learning how to use WordPress. It's understanding how to manage content. It's understanding how to customize your theme. It's maybe configuring your hosting account. All of that can take months, if not years, to master if you're brand new to the WordPress space. So if you're just getting started and you're wondering, do I, do I really need to wrestle with WordPress in order to host my podcast? Well, the answer is no. You can go directly to castos.com and host your account there. If you're worried about getting a, a website, every podcast in our in your dashboard will have a pretty simple, straightforward podcast website that does all the things you really needed to do, which is display your episodes, get people to subscribe, and get people to learn a little bit more about you. You can customize it to a, a small degree and you can put up custom links up top if you want to send them elsewhere to other websites on your in your properties. You don't need to use WordPress for your Castos account. What it allows you to do is have a super customizable website experience. Of course, you have to know how to do that with WordPress in order to achieve it. There's a bunch of page builder plugins like Elementor, Beaver Builder, of course, Gutenberg built into the core of WordPress. All of that stuff is awesome and very powerful, but it takes time to learn. And if you want to learn and master that, then you have a very powerful powerful tool for making a, a really killer podcast website and an amazing content management system. But you can skip all of it and go directly to casos.com. If you're already using WordPress in your content publishing workflow, you're using it for your blogging platform, you have multiple team members in there, you're using it for a membership, for a community, for a forum, for all of these knowledge base you know, features that you could get with plugins. If you're using it as the center of your content creation machine, well, then using our plugin might be beneficial to you because it's going to work within the same you know, publishing workflow that you already have with WordPress, multiple users, different roles, you know, custom post types versus posts, pages, all of the stuff that WordPress is amazing at. Yes, if that's you, then you're probably already more advanced user. And the only challenge you have to get over next is understanding sort of the podcast landscape, understanding the podcast RSS feed, how to get it distributed out to Amazon, Spotify, and Google, all of that stuff, which we help you with here at Castos, and we have properly documented. Now, on the flip side, you can go direct to castos.com. If you don't have a big team that you're working with or the workflow stuff isn't that important to you, uh, when we build out new features for podcasters, like one click to Spotify, one click to Amazon, redistribute to YouTube automatically, all of that stuff is built right into Castos. You don't have to worry about that from the WordPress side. So there are de definitely some advantages to the publishing workflow if you're hosting just at Castos. Let's talk about WordPress plugins for a moment. If you're building a membership site, a subscription site, or an e-commerce site using something like WooCommerce, Paid Memberships Pro, well, you're probably more of an advanced user again, and SSP does connect up to those plugins and platforms. Now, we have a whole range of plugins that we integrate with. It'll make selling subscriptions, selling memberships, selling private access a whole heck of a lot easier. And that is certainly an advantage on WordPress because, well, you can't do it without those plugins, right? So if you're using Paid Memberships Pro or WooCommerce, can't do it anywhere else but WordPress. So then our connection to that is fantastic for you. If you don't use any of that, but it sounds interesting, like, hey, I want to sell a subscription podcast. Do I need WordPress to do that? The answer is no. You can go direct to Casos.com, set up a connection, a direct connection to Stripe and use Stripe's checkout pages to sell your subscription podcast. So if you want to sell a subscription podcast, premium content, an audio book, you can sell for $5 a month, $50 a month. It doesn't matter. You set the price at Stripe. You can connect that right up to your Castos account and then sell directly using their checkout pages. Just put that link anywhere on the internet and people can buy it and get access to your subscription content here at Castos. And now I'm saving the best for last hosting fees. So so one of the advantages to using our plugin is you can host a podcast completely for free right out of your WordPress website, only paying for your hosting fees. Now, you don't have to pay Castos a nickel in order to do that. You'll miss out on a lot of the advantages that we've already talked about with Castos.com. But eventually, as your podcast grows, a web host is just not set up to properly support you 
uh, for a podcast. So you're going to end up paying more for storage for bandwidth as more listeners come to your site to download your content, especially if you want to create multiple shows or subscription shows for monetizing your podcasting efforts going to Casos for $19 a month to host unlimited podcasts with no restriction on the file size or the bandwidth and stuff like that. You can set it all up right inside of Casos for $19 a month. So yes, if you're just getting started, just do it for free right out of your WordPress website. But eventually you do want to connect up to Casos or just host directly at Casos through SSP or your own Casos account to save you some money there. And of course, give you all of the support and the features that you need as a podcast creator, $19 a month, casos.com. Can't go wrong. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Hopefully this video sort of answers those questions for you. Should you be using WordPress? Should you go direct to Castos? Kind of get you into the mindset of how you should think about it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or go to support.castos.com.